Hey there, everyone. Um, I have gotten requested, um, or maybe demanded, depending on who you ask, um, to make a new video. So I figured today, um, because I was requested to do PvP, and I'm really not that good at PvP, um, I'm more of a Titans player, it's what I enjoy, it's where I put my effort. I figured I'd just uh, do a showcase of my Mon Box, such that it is. Um, a couple of forewarnings, um, I guess you could say, like, a lot of mons that should probably have gems just don't, um, because I recently, like, last time we had a free gem removal 24 hour thing, we have one right now, not using it yet, gonna see if I want to use it. Last time that happened, I went through and did a big, big rework just to sort of prioritize what is basically my main goal of, on the account currently, which is just pushing my Fire Titan score as high as I can. That is like priority one right now. Um, and to that end, one of the biggest things I can do is improve my gem quality, because the account is very old, a lot of the gems are really not that good, at least the ones I keep sort of floating around in the gem storage right now, like ones that aren't on Mons. They're not that good. I really need to kick myself into high gear, run a lot more golems, get new gems. That's why I have no astro gems and some energy, because we're just we're laser focused on that right now. We're not about pulling. Um, and with all that said, let's get started. So I'm probably going to sort by grade, because that's just how I roll. Um First up is a super evolved Fire Cupid. He, um, he has gems, he doesn't get used much in circulation right now, um, his primary purpose, I think it's just Wood Titan at the moment, and maybe like Fire Tower of Chaos, but I'm not good at most of the Elemental Tower of Chaoses, it is what it is. Um, highlights include... You know, he's just HP, Defense, Recovery, but he's got good resist. Um, I think for his base of like 2200 defense, getting him over 6000 is pretty nice. He's not enhanced, he could definitely be better, but he is where he is. He'll just chill. Uh, Fire Miho, I probably just super evolved her for gems and then that was that. Um, I booked her, so at one point I, I was really feeling like I would use her, ended up not using her, uh, and that's just how that goes sometimes. But you know, she's the mascot of the game, so it's fun to have her. Um, Fire Leo, who is Evo 2.2 for about like three years, <laughs> and then I finally got him to Evo 3, the poor lad. Um, I think he's got a pretty funky set from what I remember. Crit rate, which makes sense, attack, and then this is where it's gonna get weird. HP, yeah. Don't fully know why I've done that, but... What's his enhance? Attack, flat attack. He's got 90% crit rate. I can push him over 100 with um, enhancements. I guess I was just sort of going for a bruiser build with him. Just like, he's fine. He's nothing special, but he's cool to have around if I ever want to mess with double hunter for him. Uh, here's Pebble. Couldn't tell you why. One night I was just like, I'm gonna make him good, because he used to be in the meta. He's left the meta for a reason. Goodness gracious, he has. Um, defense. HP. HP. Um, and he does have a resist enhancement, so having 70% resist is, eh. Um... We cheeky flat attack enhancement, don't know why I did that. But, you know, his... Because here's the thing about Pebble. His accuracy will go up, um, his turns will not. So it's only ever going to be the one turn stun, which is okay. But then they really need to update him to give him a better taunt, like Barb's taunt. As it stands, he just has the original base one. It's not that good. But he's nostalgic, and so he has gems. Um, Fire Siegfried. 
I should probably gem up. I mean, I don't really need more wave clears at this moment, but... I don't know, he's kinda- he was the go-to for, like, the early days. The Dark Ages, before Draka existed. Um, sadly, he does not have a Siphon set, he does not have any set. But he's got flat defense and crit rate, so, you know, good for him. He's nearly max level variant, so that's fun. Um, and he's definitely one of those mons where I'm like, I'm probably not gonna use him again, but I'm glad I have him at Evo 3. Because I don't think I would really necessarily do that nowadays, but I'm glad he's here. Uh, Fire Valk, who I used in PvP for a while when I first returned to this account. Um, she's pretty okay. She's triple square, you love to see it. Um, I really like her because when I got back, I got really into fast charging, um, effect nat fives. You'll see more what I mean later. Um, as it stands now, I mean, she is probably the most unfortunate of the Valks in terms of like what she gets out of her ultimate evolution. It's like a 17% chance for two turn, I don't even know if it's two turn, for resistance down. It is the most unreliable little thing. You really just do it for the stat boost for her, and it sadly, it doesn't even push her attack above the 3k mark. <laughs> Which is not always necessary, but it would be nice to get some attack out of her, considering she is balanced type. But she's variant, she's cool, she's here. I like having her around. Good old Fire Neza, who is... She might be like my only costume mon on the account. Um, I used to use her a lot in Titans, back in the old dark days before Trinkets. Um, and for a lot of the courageous strikers and healers we know and love were around, you would use Fire Neza. Even even before that, you would also use Fire Yaksha. It was a weird time. Um, you know, she's just kind of gotten power crept, and it's not her fault. But I really like Neza, and I love anything steampunk. So that's why she has the outfit. That's why she's here. That's why she's Evo three level sixty. Probably not going to use her again, she'll just chill. Um, Water Mona, who we do use, she's one of my wave clears. She recently got one of her gems stolen for a very important purpose, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So her crit used to be over 100, she was on set, now it's 78. It's not the end of the world, but I do need to get her a new gem to complete her set again. Yes, I know she's not the best wave clear, but she's what I have, you work with what you got. Um, Water Miho, who was my first ever Super Evolution, she helped me in the early, early days of B10 when I was really bad at B10 and it was really slow. Now I decide I live my life being slow at B11 and not perfect, um, not perfect rate of winning. Sometimes I lose, but I'm like, I get higher chances for eggs. We, we do our trade-offs, it's what we do. She's probably not going to be used now, but I don't know. I like sappers a lot, so I'm glad I have her. Okay, the first of the Titan team, um, my big boy, my variant Water Hades. Um, he's on crit rate attack attack. He's got 85% crit rate, which is pretty good. But with a crit rate gem, you would expect that. He's, um, he's nearly done in terms of the enhancement types, but we still need to boost his levels. He's got just over 8,000 attack, which is not stunning, and that's why typically Water Hades doesn't get that much love in lineups. It's because, well, typically, um, the meta has been shifting away from what I call half CSers, where they're part debuff, part courageous strike, and on to just as many double CSers as you can possibly cram in, supported by the fewest amount of supports. That's not how I'm building right now, maybe I'll do that someday, but for now, like, I'm having fun with a different sort of lineup. And part of that is me rethinking how Water Hades should and could operate. Um, and I don't have the pieces just yet, but I'm really considering making him triple attack someday. Because... Typical endgame CSer, what you're looking for is over 10k attack stack, 
attack stack attack stat wow we're tired um and being on attack attack crit damage hades in my mind is a special type or a special case because his main stat is hp not attack and even super ascended he's not going to clear that base 3000 mark so you really need to sort of consider like what's more important having a little extra crit damage okay 70 percent is a lot but you know what i mean or making that 10k base mark and with super ascension investment like a super super high invested hades you can clear that 10k mark and still have respectable crit damage so i am sort of playing around with the idea of what if we got there for hades on a triple attack sort of sort of deal so we'll work at it um and hey this is a little snapshot of where he is right now no books on this one the books are on the evo 2 one because my priorities were mixed up on which one I was going to build at first a while ago, but obviously I'm going to be booking both of them because I used two Water Hades in my lineup, but anyways, moving on. Water Hunter. Um, pretty underwhelming in the long run. He helped me break through Water Tower of Chaos Floor 50, so I will forever love him. Um... And as it turns out, I don't know if he had on trinkets or not. I'm not sure he did. He has an HP trinket. He really needs a lot of HP work to get going. Mine is on attack. Notice a lot of good defense. Crit rate, again, a lot of more defense and HP and a little more defense. On the HP set and all of that, that's like over 50% defense. And that only brings him to just over 3,000. Um, he's a nat 3, it's to be expected. He is so stinking glassy. Um, and right at the end of the fight, he did die, and Hades had to close it out with the supports. But believe me when I say, even if he looks unassuming, even if he is unassuming, a single target puncture on an active it will carry a lot more weight than you think it will. Um, so this is your PSA. Build a Water Hunter to mess with. But if you get a Dark Hunter, oh my goodness, build him. Oh my goodness, goodness, build him. He can do... I don't have one, sadly. Light Hunter as well, but especially Dark. He's going to pull off a lot more nonsense than you think he can. And that's the PSA. So that's Water Hunter. Um, then we have Water Nike. Who I really like. Um, she's one of my favorites in terms of like her family. Uh, I would love to super evo her someday just because I think her big version looks really pretty. I was going to build her out. Moved away from it. Uh, it is what it is. And then the first of my two water curas that I'm working on. Unfortunately her leader skill is only level 1 but... You know, getting a leader skill on an at 4 can already be a bit difficult, so I'm lucky enough to have my two. Um, resist, 64, not the best, but I was prioritizing other things. Let's talk for a minute about Water Cura and Water Bast, because they play very differently from most other healers. Most healers, um, as pretty much anyone will tell you, if you watch Elio's videos, and I'm sure you do, if you're watching mine but not his, what are you doing? Um, but essentially, HP defense recovery is what you typically want to do for your healers. Water Cura and Water Bast, no no no. Reason being, let's look at this base recovery. That is not going to cut it. That's just like over 2,000. Also notice, she's a tank type. She's got nearly 40,000 base HP working for her. So what we do is, recovery defense, and a second recovery. Reason being, and notice, she still has nearly 23,000 or 24,000 more HP. Um, sure, she gets a little from her substats, but what we're doing here, trinkets, that's 8,000. 8, Enhancements, um, that's 3,300, and that's 11 extra percent. So basically, when you look at Water Cura and Water Bast, don't worry about giving them an HP gem, because their trinkets and enhances are going to get them where they need to go. Mind you, 
This is specifically for Fire Titan, where they have the elemental advantage. Um, people are using Water Cura now in a lot of Titan elements because she's just got an amazing skill set and an amazing leader skill. I build mine for Fire Titan. If you're using them for other elements, how you gem them changes. So just bear that in mind and don't come yelling at me that Cura dies really fast against Light Titan. Um, I don't know how she'd do versus Light Titan with this setup. That's beyond the point. Also, she's nearly on the Resist HP set, which would be awesome for her. An extra 10% Resist in HP, that'd push her to 74% Resist, which I'd be very happy with. Um, how soon will we get there? That depends on how soon I can get a defense on that set. Um, also, it's gonna be a hard sell, because that's an extra 26 or so percent recovery. Um, I worked really hard on this Kira. And I think at the end of the day, she's still got room to grow, but I think it shows. Moving on, Water Sura, PSA, if you're early on, build Water Sura. He needs a square if you're early, but let's take a peek. Critical hits have a 100% chance to stun the enemy for two turns. This big boy is your best friend in the early days of main Tower of Chaos. Don't worry about the elemental ones, they come a lot later. If you're trying to build yourself out in the early days of clearing the main Tower of Chaos, do yourself a favor, make a Water Sura. You're not going to use him forever, but my god, he makes it easier. Mine is retired now, he just chills. Also, like, things to pay attention to. He can have up to 20% of a crit rate lead, and so a crit, uh, crit rate gem at 6 star is 54%. That's 74% with the lead. 84% with his base. You really don't need much in the way of substats to get him cooking then. I would just say like, either crit rate HP HP or crit rate HP defense, you're golden. That's all you need for him. My first and sadly only Aesir, um, a trade-off has been made in RNG's name. She is variant, but she is the only one I've ever gotten. And we do what we can. Uh, she still puts in very good work, though, so I cannot complain. I have nearly finished booking her. Very happy about that. Just need two more. Um, also, this is if you're very into Titans, and specifically one element of Titan. This is not for everyone, but, like, if you don't feel this, don't feel like you need to do it. But I absolutely, positively, fuse Nat 5 skill books in my case. The water CSers I use, Valrona, Hades, Aesir, Indra. So I just pop the four of them in when I get two books I don't want, fuse them, and I get a book for someone I want. You could argue, well, what if you want that one of those two books for someone else later? I'll cross that bridge when I come to it, because for right now, this is my focus, this is what I do. Uh, she's crit rate, attack, attack. Nothing too fancy in that regard. She's got the Arthur set to help boost her up. 86% crit rate. Uh, the crit damage is where she's fallen short, but her leader skill helps push her back up on that at 50 extra percent. She is my one and currently only Super Ascended Mon. She got Unwavering Resolve, which is... I I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's a bad one. Obviously, we want Devastating Strikes for her eventually. But right now when she's Evo 2, and I do use her as part of my Fire Dimensional Dungeon team, having that chance to heal her makes it easier for her to clear the content while she's still only Evo 2. So it actually it works out pretty well right now, even if it means her Titan's damage is potentially, not potentially, is temporarily lower until I can fix her up. Um, Water Sieg, who just today is probably going to get uh, phased out. What a lad, what a champ. Um, he's variant, so... Will he eventually find life inside of Light Sieg? Yeah, he might. And I'm gonna be straight up about that. Unfortunately, he's fully enhanced, and he's got some dang good ones. Um, he's not too shabby, honestly. So maybe I will keep him. I've definitely gone back and forth on that a lot, and just build Light Sieg out with new ones from Titans. So that is what it is. I like Water Sieg. I know he's like not the best courageous striker, but he's fun. He's like nostalgic. 
Second Water Kira, she's not fully um, gemmed and enhanced up yet. She's She's got the higher leader skill though, because of course she does, that's how that goes. Uh, but she's there. Uh, my Wood Jubaji, she's got really good slots, um, she's fully enhanced. I honestly think Shubaji is kinda slept on. I'm not gonna get fully into that because mine currently has no gems so I'm in no place to be like, use her more! But I will just say, um, if you super ascend her, look at that, 2900, the super ascension applies to the base stats of Amon, not like the added stats that you see in like, gold. It'll push her over the base 3k mark and then she can really start cooking with fire. The only thing that's holding her back is Blind is not the best active, and Grace of Life is okay, but there are better leader skills for Titan damage, so that's all I'm saying. If you want to mess around with someone and try some new approaches, I think Shubaji is interesting. I wouldn't necessarily recommend high investing in her before meta picks, but if you got the chance, why not toss her some gems or something? Uh, then we have Wood Yaksha. Wood Yaksha, who's not bad. Um, critical hits, 100%, 2 turns sleep. Uh, death Blow leader skill. I use mine a lot, I don't use her anymore. I think um, if you're playing on manual, she's useful. If you're playing on auto, sleep is not useful. So that's sort of my stipulation for her. I used her a ton back in the day, so she sticks around for nostalgia. Then we got Wood Cherry. Um, you're wondering why she's on the blue set, and I feel that. Um, HP, HP, with some nice recovery on that one. And HP, it, it just sort of happened that way. It's not like I'm looking to get more damage out of her on her passive, it's just one of those situations where it's like, well, that's how that worked out. Uh, she definitely needs more resist, goodness gracious, but um, I use her in Wood Dimensional Dungeon and she's very helpful. And she's really cute. Uh, we have Wood Thor, no longer in use. Goodness gracious, he's a courageous striker with 2648 base attack, that is underwhelming. Uh, Wood Jubilee, why is she level 60? Couldn't tell ya. Could not tell ya. Wood Mini Cat, um, I know Mini Cat is good, that's why Mini Cat's EVO 3 level 60, but I'm not using him for anything right now, which is unfortunate. And then that also would explain why I've got Wood Cotine with an enhancement and a fully booked when Mini Cat has no books, because. I can talk a big game, but sometimes I just gotta make those terrible choices. Um, cause my mind was so very like, you know what, Wood Cotine's gonna be great for Wood Tower of Chaos. And then as you can see, um, my Wood attackers by and large blow chunks and have no gems, so Wood Tower of Chaos eludes me. That's just how that goes. Um, Light Nike, the OG Queen. Uh, if you're new, gather around for a history lesson, because new players, when you start an account, you get Dark Mona. We of the old school, we got Light Nike, and I love her, and I know she's not that good anymore, and I don't care. Uh, Light Nike will forever be iconic, and you cannot change my mind. I'm not saying she's the best, I'm just saying she's iconic. Then we got Light Wendigo, who is a mainstay on... Pretty much if I'm ever doing a Titan hit, I will try to use him somewhere because I'm not at a point where I have multiple element teams built up. Uh, so Wendigo always finds a place. Um, I am very, very pleased with how he's turned out, even on a broken set. 9500 attack, over 100% crit rate, decent crit damage. Um, nothing special, honestly. Crit rate, attack, attack. Um, but you know, let this be a lesson in, like, you don't necessarily need super high-end gems to get, like, good mileage out of a Courageous Striker. Um, obviously his enhances are pretty stacked, um, but you know, you can definitely make it work. 
with a lot less than you think you can when you're getting started. Um, and Wendigo's the boy. If he ever comes back on Rebirth, which... I'm not certain if he will, or if Sandraith will, because now Light Sandraith is a full Courageous Striker, so, um... I don't know if Smart Study is going to give him out to us that easily, but if he ever does, or if Sandraith does, Sandraith is not as good, I don't have him, but still grab him. Courageous Striker is a Courageous Striker. That's not to say they're all good, but just, like, get them, so then you have the option, is what I'm getting at. Um, but Wendigo's just the dude, and you should build him if you have him. Then we have Sarah, who I used for a long time. She's partly booked. Um, 87%. I use her as one of my speed wave clears. Not, no speed, I say speed. She's not that fast, but, or she's not the reason why my runs are decently fast. But she's nice. Uh, I like her. I used her a lot back in the day, before I had Dark Mona, before Trinkets existed. I still use her now, so she just chills. She's on the defense set, because I was trying to use her to crack light TOC 50. She simply did not have the bulk to go the distance. So I probably need to redo her set at some point. Then we have Light Snowy. Um, if you don't know what she does, she's basically Fire Wild Thing in light form. Um... I built her because one of my clan mates was raving about her, and she's fine, but she's not gonna, like, obliterate anything easily. She's just gonna sort of do her thing. I have to experiment with her. Obviously, I went for crit rate over resist, which is not ideal. If you look at a lot of my mons, you notice I usually like to try and get, like, passable resist out of them. That was not the case with her. Um, we got Light Dart, who his gem got stolen. We'll show you why in a minute, or when it comes up. I was building him for memes, honestly. Like, he's he's fine. Um, but he, you know, I would not say put a high priority on him. But he looks like a dog and a bunny in one, and I'm very bad at that. Light Sherlock, who um, is probably a pretty rare mon to find nowadays. I'm not using mine currently. I know she's used in some Titan setups for certain things. Mine is max crit rate. Working on booking her, or I was at some point. Um, but she just chills out, you know. We haven't had a Sherlock event in a long, long time. I'm wondering, will they come back? I don't know, but I'm glad I have her. Uh, Light Mona on a leech set, and you're like, what's that about? And I'm like, I don't know, she's on HP crit rate defense. And golly, but is she a weird one. She's got a ton of bulk. Good for her. I might have to rework her at some point, but she's fun. Um, Light Siren, featuring less resist than I would like for someone in her role. Um... She's not the worst Light Siren, but she's clearly got a long ways to go. Oh, sweet baby Light Seedler. I love Seedler at Evo 3. I think they look adorable. They haven't aged that well as a family. This one, half um, aggressor. Eh. It's not the worst skill set, but there's definitely better. And then we come to Mona. Mona, who's the main reason why um, I can speed farm decently well. I will say, mine is not the best Mona. She's got a long, long ways to go. But she's got crit rate, there's some nice crit damage there. HP, which that's, you know, we'll get to that in a second. And attack. And so why does she have an HP gem? It's because she's on a siphon set, and sometimes we make um, compromises with dragon sets to complete the set. A siphon set on a Dark Mona is so massive, um, and I was like, well, this one has 21% attack, it's got 13% crit rate. Ultimately, she's got over 8,000 attack. She's not the best, but she can get a lot of work put in. So that was the compromise I made on her. Still looking for another attack gem to complete the set. In the meantime, I'm happy. 
Starrock or Starov, Starol. Little man is here for world boss points. That's that's short and long of it. Uh, Sphinx, my son, my beautiful boy. Um, he's enhanced. I have to get back around to him at some point because I really like memeing around with unflinching strikers, especially Sphinx. Um, so maybe someday stay tuned for Sphinx memeing? We'll see. Um, Pegasus, who was part of my speedrunning team and then his gems got absolutely hijacked from him. I'll try to get him back onto a siphon set someday because honestly, I know like he's high invest for a way of clear, but two things. One, uh, his, his, well, three things actually. First of all, charging stance. You may be like, well, don't you just want attack up? Here's the thing. If you're in um, a situation like Apex Battles, see what I mean? Now, there's some interesting strategic play, because it's not just about punching high attack into high defense. He's going to have good attack no matter what you do. He's got a great base. But if you're lowering, your, lowering the enemy defense by 30 to 35%, that could make the job easier in Apex Battles. Secondly, his um, his Hunter goes to 50% on his active. That's pretty massive. Mona, uh, she tops out at 40%. Now granted, he doesn't get the super evolution, but 50% Hunter on active for a wave clear, that's pretty beefy. Third, and most importantly, Dark Variant is my pretty Sky Pony. He looks like a constellation boy, and I love him. That's always the most important thing. Dark Mandy, why does she have just this trinket and nothing else? Couldn't tell ya. I really want to mess around with her someday. I think she's a super fun mon for Dark Hunter. But then whenever I think about it in the back of my mind, two things come up. One, I don't have the gem quality to make her really a rock star. And secondly, Dark Griffin exists. And no matter how you slice it, unless she gets a super evolution, which everyone kind of wants, but no one really knows if it'll happen, Dark Griffin just outclasses her. Um, and that's unfortunate. Gatito, the boy, the original boss killer. He's retired, I could do something with him, I don't. Maybe I will someday, because he's got good gem slots, but, you know. Then we got, uh... Mini Eve. Um, she's got great gem slots. I don't really like Eve. She's one of my two dark courageous strikers. Uh, not counting the unflinching boy legend wonder man. I don't think she's very good. Look at that. 60% chance. Yes, it does go to 70 when booked. Yes, she's got a good leader skill. I still don't like her. I don't know. I just think 2500 base attack. That is so gnarly grizzly bad. And they purposefully did that. They were like, you can have a free dark courageous striker, but she can't be good. Unfortunate. Uh, Seedler, my triple square boy, the dark one. The still entertaining and fun to mess around with one. Trinket's really messed up his gig. He used to be the PvP uh, noob nuker. Not so much anymore. Dark Yuki, one of my most used mons. Oh my goodness, if you get her, use her. Um, mine has defense and then I believe HP, HP. Yeah, 26% resist flex. Um, yeah. And she's just... I can give mine a resist enhance to push her over the max resist mark. She's got a helpful leader skill in crit damage. Not always the most useful for her role, but she's definitely helpful. And I use her all the time. Uh, over 100k HP. The defense is kind of low, but we may do what we do. Sea uh, Star, my poor baby Sea Star. Her gems got hijacked for a more important project. Uh, you'll see who in a little bit. 
She's just vibing, waiting for new gems to come her way. I'm sure they will someday. Um, my Fire Wukong. I use him for Dragon's B10. And it's good that he's a CSer. He's an ungamed CSer. Um, you know, he's part of the Wood Titan team, so I'm glad I have him. He's got a triangle slot, so he has endgame gem potential. He's got a defense gem on, mostly because it helps the crit rate, but also because for dragon runs, he needs the extra bulk. He can still die, don't get me wrong, um, but he's helpful. And eventually his gems will change as I find a better dragon 10 team, but this is what we got for now. Shinobi, who, um, time forgot, I need to re-slot this one someday, give him that triangle from that diamond, um, and then he'll be ready to roll. Until then, he's just vibing. Fire Yuki, just existing. You sometimes see people use her in, like, PvP situations? I'm not sure why. I don't think she's all that cool. I don't know why I built her. But she's here, I mean, she looks cool, so that's fun. Uh, Elio, this one's for you. I only built her just because I built her years ago to Evo 2, when people still thought she was useful. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna finish her for the Astro Guide. Why is she level 60? That also happened years ago. Now she's just chilling. Uh, Fire Verde. I was so gonna be like, I'm gonna use her, and then I didn't, and that's why I have two. You know, live and learn. Our Incubus, my boy, my son, I love Incubus. He's unfortunately retired right now, maybe he'll come out of retirement when I work on Wood Titan, but we'll see. Um, Fire Cura. Useful? I'm not using mine right now though. She's just vibing. Goodness gracious. Um, this was an idea I had when I was very into the idea of like, what if I just built a clan versus clan team that was just designed around stupid high HP and running out the clock? And so now he's level 60 in EVO 2.1, and I don't know when he's gonna get to um, EVO 3, you know. Good for him. Neptune, or Poseidon, whatever you want to call him. I really gotta get into Evo 3 someday. Um, I think he's just insanely ugly looking. Which is not a bad thing necessarily, but it's just, just a comment. Just putting it out there, Poseidon. Um, Sha Wu Jing. You know, he's there. He's vibing. Now we come to some of my favorites, some of my more watermons. Um, currently, I think he's my only ultimate evolution, is Water Arthur. I could have made Dark, I could have made the Three Fire. I decided to meme, because it's a meme in my clan, that if you get Water Arthur, you release Water Arthur. And then I was like, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Um, so he's on attack, defense, HP, he obviously has his Arthur set. He's got so close to max resist, 85% is max, he's got 82, 32 crit resist, um, 84k HP, 9,000 defense, a respectable-ish 7,700 attack. No real crit rate to speak of, but I designed him for bulk. Um, like a bulk bruiser, and I think I get good results out of him, I honestly do. Um, and so, enhance-wise, attack, defense, attack, defense, crit resist, HP. Probably could be a little bit better, but he gets the job done. Uh, Balrona. Who, I'm getting closer to being done with booking. Um, she is currently my only Mon over 10k attack. She's got just over 11k. Decent bulk for an Evo 3 courageous striker. Obviously, um... She's on, I think it's called Valor? Intuition. Excuse me. She's crit attack attack on Intuition. Obviously we want to get her to ruin someday, but she puts in a lot of work. I just did a test with her today, now that she's Evo 3. 
excuse me, I'm drinking water because I'm not used to talking for so long at a time. Um, but she obviously wants to get to ruin someday, but for the moment, um, she does 46 million or so damage. When she gets super ascended, we hope she crosses that 50 mil mark. Wait and see. Uh, Indra, who's got his courageous strike fully booked. Um, 91% crit rate, crit rate attack attack, on the ever beloved Arthur set. These are resist, 59%, not the best, not the worst. Um, Super Ascension will hopefully push him over the 10k mark, and then he'll really be cooking. He's not got the best HP, and there's no getting around that. He's got over 6,000 defense though, which is really good. If you look at Indra and his base stats, under 30k HP, over the 3,000 defense mark. That means when we enhance him, defense, attack, flat HP, attack, crit damage, defense. If you don't know, uh, the magic number where for HP, attack, defense, or recovery, it becomes um, good and strong to start using percent enhancements is for attack, defense, or recovery, you're looking for 3,000. That's the magic number. For HP, you want 30,000. Keep in mind, what you see is not always what you get, because if you super enhance a mod, super enhance, super ascend, if you super ascend a mod, their bases, the white numbers, will increase by 6.65%. And that will change how your enhances are reflected in percent. So, take a minute, pull out your calculator app, take their number, find 6.65% of it, then add it back to the original number. That will tell you if when super ascended, they're viable to do a percent based enhancement. The reason I go into all this detail is because I'm really trying to build for endgame here. You'll notice my importance yesers, they all have triangles. Um. That's because we want a crit damage gem at the end of the day, and I plot out what their enhances are going to be before I ever start them. Planning, planning, planning. It makes a difference. It all adds up in the end. Water Persephone, she's just being her triple HP self. Not really the most inspired purse, not very good resist. She does a lot of content clearing. She doesn't need to be perfect. Mine doesn't, at least. I don't use her for PvP. Fast number one. Um, she's got my only Valk Trinket at the minute. I would love to get her a second one so she can get an extra 10% defense. Um, it's the same story that you know and love from Cura. Recovery, recovery, defense. This one has amazing resist. She's the only Evo 3 one. Started on her enhances, still got a ways to go. I I must have felt some kind of way about Nat 3 League at some point, but I don't anymore. <laughs> um, here we have Indra 2. Haven't started booking him yet. Two more books on the first one, then he'll be going. He's obviously got a long ways to go. He still puts in very decent work. He's got um, some very strong defense enhancements. That helps him stick around and put in some damage. He'll do better when he's Evo 3. Second Hades. Um, he's got a long way to go. He's got a book into his Courageous Strike, though. Good for him. Three more Water Bastes. Because I am a lucky son of a gun. <laughs> um, this one needs her gems upgraded a lot. If I had to guess, this is probably the one who dies first. Yeah, she's probably the first dying one, because she's got a plus nine gem, and that is disrespectful to Water Bast to give her a plus nine gem, but I'll try to rectify it. They're all the same story. Recovery, recovery, defense. Uh, they're obviously going to die a lot faster than the one who's got enhancements and is Evo 3. It's a work in progress. I need, like nine more Bast if I don't want to use Super Gleams to get these girls to Evo 3. That's a lot of Heroes Fest. For now, we do okay with them. We got room to grow with them. 
but we're working on it. This is just abysmal. Um, she should have so much more and deserve so much more, but she doesn't have it right now. Just because I'm not going to use her on my Fire Titan team, even though some people say she should be a part of the meta there. I do think those people who say that, I think they overrate Wood Anna a bit. That's just between you and me, though. Wood Garuda, who's got two gems, God love him. Um, I like Wood Garuda. He's my big bird. Um, I need two, eventually. I have to build another one. Um, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Not a lot to say about him right now. Good for you, though. 88% crit rate with only two gems. Well, that explains that. That explains that. Wood Nightmare, my first ever Nat 5. She's Evo 3. She's chilling. She's hoping she gets an ultimate evolution someday. I think she's got a beautiful design. Um, and her skill set is fine. wouldn't say it's anything special. Would love to see it bumped up to 15% healing, but we can't always get what we want. Kana, my clan leader loves her, not going to say ill of her. Um, mine is not currently gemmed. I should probably change that at some point. Radis, uh, everybody's favorite farmable mon, or at least my favorite. I just have this one just hanging. We have a wood Artemis at Evo 2. I would really like to get her to Evo 3. She's my only Nat 5 Puncture unit, which is unfortunate. I would also like to get her onto Siphon. She's only got 71% crit. She has got so much work that she needs doing. Um, she's sort of a back burner project because I don't often pull Artemis. That's just my luck. But, you know, she's not the best Puncture unit, but I've got her, so I should use her. Wood Sir Nunos. Don't sleep on Wood Sir Nunos. So amazing. Look at that. No books, 100%. Three types of sap for one turn. Undying Volition on his active. If you look at his Evo 3 stats, he's got over 3k base attack. He's a weird mod, but he can do so much for me. I use him in Tower of Chaos. I use him for Benji Dungeons. Just specifically Wood right now. I use him in V11. He is a really versatile little mon, and I think people sleep on him. Wood Jean just hanging out, doing her thing. Wood Draka, the only Draka I got on my first chance at her. It's unfortunate. Uh, Pino. I know some people who have spent way too many gleams to get a Pino to Evo 3. Wouldn't recommend it. I think he's kind of... Well, he's garbage. Look at him. There is no getting around that. He is awful. Fight me. Um, Gemini, who has bad resist, but I guess I like, I like passive healers, so she chills, but why would I Gemini when I have Big Daddy Shiva? Granted, he's not a passive healer in the same sense in that he's fixed percent, not based off of his HP. Um, but my goodness, he's a beefy boy. Mine does not have the best resist, only 66%. However... He has, hundreds, he has over 175,000 HP. I'm cool with that if you're cool with that. <laughs> um, his enhances... He doesn't even have an HP percent enhance yet. So we got a ways to go before we sleep on this man. Don't. He's just chilling. Leave him be. He's a good lad. He's, you know... Uh, Light Venus, the only Light Venus that is going to ever be Evo 3, because goodness gracious, the rest are just going to go into dark. Um, she's fine. I use her in some places. I'm currently trying to see if she can help crack Light Tower of Chaos 50. That might not be her jam, but she's still useful, I feel like. Light Pixie, Light Pixie just chills out. She's a Titan Mon that has some use. I'm not sure why. I think you can do better than Vigor Pixie, but here you are. Uh, Lights or Nunos, who we're working on. This is a work in progress. Now, I want you to peep something here. 83% crit rate, no squares. This boy is my first attack attack crit damage. Um, 
and I'm very proud of him. He's only Evo 2.1, he's got really strong enhances. Um, his gems aren't fully upgraded, but he can be a big boy. He's very glassy, and there's no real getting around that. Uh, Super Ascension will help a little. But, I like him a lot, and I think it's just, it's cool to have attack attack crit damage. It feels powerful, even if he's not that powerful yet. Um, Light Sora. Sura is one of those rare mons who I think their best looking form is Evo 2. I really don't like Evo 3 Sura. I don't hate him, but I just think Evo 2 is more cool. Evo 3 has no pupils, and that makes me feel uncomfortable. Light Wukong, my special boy, my little man. He helps me clear Tower of Chaos 120 every month. He could do so even when he was Evo 1. If you get him, don't sleep on him. He's very powerful. Uh, Light Odin. Only Evo 2. Only recently got to level 60. Uh, has very good HP. Not as good as Shiva, but that makes sense because she's an actual passive healer. Uh, the catch is... Mine needs a lot more resist. 40% simply does not cut it. That's not doing anything for anyone. Light Hana. 65% resist before enhances, we love that. 46% crit rate, kind of underwhelming. She's gonna have good HP, have some big nice chunky shields. It's just a matter of getting her to Evo 3. And then Super Evo, but we'll get there. Like Tigar, who my mind is kind of trying to figure out, can I make him work instead of Light Arthur? Probably not, but we might try, because I don't have Light Arthur. I have Banana Odin. And if you're wondering why she's called that, she looks like an overripe banana with those colors. That's not me being rude, that's just the truth. Light Valk. Oh, poor sweet Light Valk. Attack, attack, defense, defense, HP, HP. I don't know what I'm doing with her. I got her from a lucky Tower of Chaos egg. It was kind of wild. Uh... I know she's good, I just need gems to really bring her to her full potential and then obviously get her to Evo 3. And Ultimate Evo. That's a long ways away though. Um, we got Dark Hana, Super Evo. This is pretty tricky. Um, she's not what most people would recommend for Hana, but defense, defense, recovery. Reason being, I want to get some actual, um, what do, you, what do you call it? I want to get some actual potency out of her heals. Because 2867 when you're super evoed, that's not a lot. Um, you know, 5,000, not a bunch of recovery, but it gets us somewhere. Also, 58% uh, resist, not that good. She's still got an enhanced slot, that's 12%. And I want to flip this HP at some point over to crit rate, and then that's going to put her at 90% crit rate. And this is where Sea Star's gems went to make this monstrosity. She's not variant, sadly, but someday, hopefully. Dark Fair Day, um, I use her in V11 and Wood Benji. She's not the best, um, just because mine needs more bulk. Don't be fooled by her being called an attacker, HP is her main stat. I have an attack gem on mine. I think I do. Yes, I do. I should probably switch that for an HP gem. That'll honestly take her further. I'll do that at some point. This boy, um, he's terrible, like most Thor have become. He's got more base attack than Eve, so I guess he's got that going for him. Mine is fully booked. I was really feeling him at some point, just because I was taking a lot of um, coping mechanisms and saying like, he's my only dark CSer, and then I got Eve, and I was like, he's one of my two. And so that's why he's got m maxed out enhances, well, maxed out in the sense of like, he's got all six. He's just, he's just not that good. I might reinvest in him someday, because with Super Ascension, he could go over the 3k mark. And honestly, I only ever expect the Dark CSer 
to be Poseidon, because he's guaranteed. Outside of that, my mind is pretty much gone over to, well, that's just never happening for me. Unfortunate, but there you go. Dark Incubus. I love him. I need to regem him at some point and figure out where I will use him again. I would love for him to be variant, because I like using him in Champions League as my lead mon, because it's like SP season. Um, but I don't have a variant Incubus, so he just chills now. I couldn't tell you why I did this. I was feeling some kind of way to not only make him, but get him to level 60. That's just ridiculous. Um, but here he is. Spark it! Spark it. Uh, Spark it, who has 65% resist before trinkets. I mean, not trinkets, before enhances, excuse me. And, um, he would really like to talk to him my water, because I'm professional. He would really like to have, um, books on him, because then not only does it improve his stun a little bit, make it a little more reliable, it, what really happens is it turns his team morale boost into 15%, and then he'll become even more powerful where I use him, which is Apex Battles. Um, if you want a dark it, or any kind of spark it, make it a dark it. He's the one. He's the boy. He's the move. Evo 3 Dark Venus. Max Res. Um, I believe she's just HP Defense Recovery doing that jive. Some enhancements. Nothing too special. Um, she puts in a lot of work, but she usually dies before the Evo 3 Bast will. That makes sense, though. I really like Jacqueline. Uh, you know, so that's why she's missing a gem. <laughs> Clearly, I care. It's just you gotta book her to get her up to 10% passive heal, and like that's that's an investment. I mean, she's she's technically now three books, so maybe I should just bite the bullet at some point. We got Evo two Venus. Um. Hopefully when we get her to Evo 3, she'll start really cooking with fire. But that's gonna take three super gleams. Gotta build her up someday. Dark Arthur, really need to get him ultimate Evo. And now we come to my boy, my special boy. Um, Dark Ankadu. And I was really feeling myself, because look, he's got a book on him. And I was like, I'm going to make Persevere work! I, I have yet to make Persevere work. I'm sort of paralyzed because I want, like, absolutely perfect gems for him. Um, and I don't have them yet. But what I do have is a heck of a lot of enhancements that... Really, why did I do that? But here we are. Um, yeah... Honestly, that crit rate could probably be flat attack, but the weird thing about him is because he's a dark PvP mon, he really needs to sort of balance the books between resist and crit rate. So starting off with 22% just helps him out. It really does. Uh, then we got Merlin, who used to have a gem set until someone told me, don't have him on double defense. Lethal Strikers will obliterate him. He used to have the most beautiful set. And now he doesn't. Now he's just chilling. Um, and we don't know what we'll do with him end of the day. But I love him. I worked really hard to get him. And he chills out. Hey, you will have to forgive me for that uh, jump cut. Because Blue Stacks just likes to crash when it feels like it. So, anyways, as I was saying, that's the last of my level 60 mons. I'm not going to count them all because... I make a lot of mons level 60, not all of them should be. But now if the level 50 mons are sort of just going to pass people by, not highlight everyone, only sort of pick out who we like. Uh, we got like Cupid working on him, because he's just Darkana by another name, and I really like Darkana, so I like like Cupid. Um, Dark July, passive healer, working on booking her, because she goes up to 10%. Basically, that's part of why Dark Jack's getting retired, is because Light July just, she really does the job better. Um, 
Why did I do this? Couldn't tell ya. Could not tell ya. Um, for half a minute I was like, he is the new meta in PvP, and then I was like, eh, I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it. Um, we got Light Chain. Working on some supremely silly things for her. Takes a while to get there, but uh, that's just a sneak peek. We're not going to go too deep into it. Uh, like Wild Fang. I want to build her just because she's really interesting. That'll go to three turn 100% depth down and booked into Shock. She seems like an interesting support mod. Uh, Light Banshee should really 60 her just to super evolve her because she's got a fun super evolution. Um, we got Knuckles because my account is very old. He's max level variant, good for him. We got Sanic, triple square. Uh, just finished Evo 3 him today. His rebirth was months ago, that's my life. Investing in her because she's my only double shocker and I say investing like she's got things on her. She's level 40. I am a mess um, But there you have it 62% resist is not too bad to start out with I think that's just my opinion because she will get a resist enhancement That's just my vibe uh, Who else we got here? Uh, we got the triple square wild gang, although unfortunately she would rather a triangle. Um, Dark Vampire, who really should be replacing Dark Canna, but I mean Dark Faraday, excuse me. I was just like, I was looking at Canna, that's why I was like, I'm gonna say her name. But he's only Evo 2, and I, I don't know, I burn Nat 4s a lot faster than I should in terms of releasing them. But here we are. Uh, we got Dark Cupid. So for those of you playing along at home, Dark Hana, Light Hana, Light Cupid, Dark Cupid. I have all four, and I'm a very lucky boy. Um, he's gonna be decent. Like he could have 60k HP at level 40 Evo 3. So make that what you will. Um, he's nearly on the Gem of the Magi set. Not for any other reason than it's just sort of working out that way. Not that that's a bad thing, but you know, he's coming along. This was my um, anniversary um, ticket selector. Uh, God, selector card, that's what it's called. Clearly, I made a good choice because look at how much I've worked on him. <laughs> oh, goodness, he came from the mindset of. I want to do PvP, but then I do PvP and I realize I don't like it that much. So he's chilling. We got a Venus, that's Venus number three. Some cures in the works. This vampire who I would absolutely feed to Dark if he wasn't Evo 2.1. Maybe I'll pull that fire out using Apex Battles? That's not a terrible idea. Um, because I know I should make a light bolt wing. I know I really should, but uh, I'm just sort of burnt out on fusions at the minute this light venus and the last dark venus dark venus number four because my account is old you just accumulate things as you go uh then we really sort of get down to the dregs there's not much exciting here and then storage wise we're gonna sort by grade because that's easier we got some cern food tails is chilling noel is chilling didn't finish light cherry in time forget what i'm using the dark rocky for and some gleams. And that's about it. Um, it's not the most exciting account, it's not the most impressive account, but it's mine. I built it myself. Um, you know, yeah, I guess that pretty much covers that. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will try my best to address them. I'm not an expert at the game, I just enjoy having fun. Um, and if you've got anything you want to see in terms of a video, let me know about that too. Like, I think this video is fairly long now, I don't want to do it right now, but I could like, I could show off my Titan lineup, we could talk about Titan theory, at least fire, because I understand fire. Um, the other elements less so, but 
yeah, I hope you have a nice day.